Hi everyone, Mike Sherry with Paul Sherry RVs here and today I'm showing a really cool, it's a brand new 2020. This is actually a late model 2020 so this is what the 21's are going to look like. But this is a Forest River Georgetown 34M5. Brand new floor plan for this year and I'm excited to flip this camera around and show this to you. This is a Forest River Georgetown GT5 which is this motorhome has three slides, two of which are on this side of the motorhome. This is a Class A motorhome, which is going to give you a lot of under the knees or what they call basement storage. Uh, first one here is going to be your propane tank, onboard propane tank, and the next one here is going to be your onboard generator. Now, I do want to spend a little bit of time pointing this out. This is a generator. That name right there is probably going to sound pretty familiar to you. It's a big engine producer in the... In, in the world and they are also the owners of Onan which builds this 5500 kilowatt generator now this is a 50 amp generator and what that means is you can power both air conditioners and all electronics on this off of that generator power and then the next remaining uh, compartments are going to be mostly for storage i always like to point out the storage on these georgetowns is a hundred percent rotocast plastic material and they all have drains in them so you can literally take a hose turn the light on here literally take a hose and wash these out and it goes all the way this one all the way to the other side right there and then this is going to be more your utility compartment your water hookup and your dump station all right there and a nice contained area now this is a fully heated compartment as well so this motorhome can be used in cooler temperatures this big black thing here we saw here that's actually a holding tank or possibly a fresh water tank so all that's going to be in heated compartments so you can camp in this in, in below freezing temperatures no problem bigger pass through here does come with a ladder that's for the bunk i'll show you once we get inside above the driver and passenger seat more pass-through storage again notice how it's rotocast all one molded piece there's no seam in that literally you could take a hose and wash that out and then this is your last compartment coming to the rear of the motorhome again rear cap on it just like the front it does have a ladder to get up and do the roof maintenance Again, fiberglass roof. It does have backup monitor, which I'll show you when we get inside. And the windows on this are the nice uh, frameless windows with the limo tent. So it provides uh, good styling and also a lot of privacy having that dark limo tent. All right, more to the fun side of the motorhome. Again, a lot of storage. Look at this one. That's a big storage compartment there. It's nice and deep too. You could use this one right here as a cooler. Got a drain there, built full of ice. Walking along here, just more storage underneath. And then this last one is going to be more of your mechanical compartment. It has your two batteries in there. That's for your house or your RV side. There's a third battery that will start the engine. And then that pump right there runs... Uh, your automatic leveling jacks and then right above us we have an outside entertainment system with a 40 inch flat screen television uh, this is all factory with a radio out here and speakers now again this is the 34 m5 the chassis is a ford chassis but it's upfitted by more ride so ford provides the foundation more ride builds off that foundation that allows for a nice solid and flat surface to georgetown then to put the motorhome onto it really makes for a seamless connection three entry power step to get inside and then this motorhome is built on the big chassis which is going to have the 22 and a half inch wheels with michelin tires all the way around six michelins on this all right let's head inside of the motorhome so class a motorhome what i really like about class a motorhomes is the cab area it, it allows for a demanding view with these really large windows the big one piece up here so a lot of people who have never drove a vehicle this big will get intimidated they'll say mike i can never drive a vehicle that big but you actually can see so much more 
what's around you in this than what you could your sedan that you drive every day. And to aid you in the stuff that you can't see so well is this really big monitor here. This is your radio, but also doubles as, watch this, I'm gonna turn the left turn signal on and it's gonna show us what's in our left side. So if you imagine driving down the interstate and there's a car right beside you, you turn on your turn signal, that car is gonna show up right there. Maybe it's a little smart car that, you know, this motorhome is gonna block a lot of that smart car, but you turn on the turn signal, whether right or left, it's gonna show you appropriately what is directly in that blind spot. And then when you go to back up, as soon as you put it into reverse, it's gonna show you directly what's behind you. And then also with class A style motorhomes, the two seats here, both will swivel around. So those seats aren't wasted space when you get into, when you get to your campsite or get to your final destination, like they would be in a class C or class B motorhome. So those will sw swivel around and notice there's no step to get into up into the cab or anything. It's a nice flush floor. Also the floor in this is hundred percent linoleum. There is no carpet in this motorhome. So easy to clean. All right, I'm gonna show you something here. Let me set my camera down and get a decent angle at this. So this has the optional bunk and I'm gonna show you how easy and quickly this comes down. All right, I hope that showed well there, but what I did, I just pressed this button right up here and it has the power bunk option on this. And that allowed this bed to come right down from the ceiling. That's extra sleeping if you need it and it goes right up against the ceiling. You wouldn't even know it was there if you don't need it. Also, I do want to point something out here because this is a good view to see it. This ceiling is a crown ceiling, meaning it's not a squared off ceiling where it's super flat. It does have a curvature to it. That allows it to feel less boxy in here and also give you a little bit taller interior height. You can see it again from this angle here. Also notice it has a duct work up through the ceiling here. That's for your your air conditioners. Both air conditioners are going to run through that duct work. A lot of the competition uses not that many ducts. All these circles that you see here are all cold air conditioning ducts. So you're going to get nice even flow of the air conditioners. All right, in our slide out here, we have a couple things. We have this really cool U dinette. Uh, what I like about this U dinette is these backings against the wall. So you can actually use this as a place, nice place to put your back up and actually sit. And there's, there's actually decent viewing for, to the TV from there. Uh, and then right here, look in this compartment. Storage is one thing in this 31 M5 that is impressive. This is your pantry. Multiple storage, some really cool pull-out drawers here. Full depth drawers, nice finished off as well. It's four of them. It's a giant pantry there. All right, finish off what's in the slide room here. A lot of big windows all throughout this motorhome, and all the windows have your blackout roller shades on it. So it provides privacy and also keeps that nice bright light from coming in maybe early in the morning. Theater seating in here. These are really nice theater seats. They recline. They also have a couple options here. Uh, power recline. Uh, they've got a light, the heat, and massage. And good spot for your beverage right there. So you actually fit four beverages on here. So you don't have to get up so often. Maybe you just got to get up to go to the bathroom with four be beverages. So good viewing of the entertainment system here, which is your 40 inch television. Uh, comes with a sound bar here, which is really impressive. A lot of the flat screens, I don't know if you have one in your house, but the sound's not super good from them. So it's nice to have the sound bar. And then that's finished off nicely with this 34 inch Furion fireplace and space heater. All right, onto the kitchen here. So the all the GT5s are gonna have an RV refrigerator in them, and this is a big one. This is a 18 cubic foot. All this up here is gonna be your freezer portion. There's four doors to this refrig refrigerator. The top two are freezer, and the bottom two are your refrigerator. So this is gonna be very similar in size to what you would have, possibly even bigger than what you would have in your home. So a lot of room. Uh, it's made by an American-made company. Uh, built right out of Ohio, 
nor cold RV refrigerators. So that RV refrigerator doesn't need electricity to work. It can work off of propane and battery power. So when you're traveling down the road, you don't need your generator to run for that refrigerator to keep your food cool. All right, kitchen area, a lot of cabinet work. All stainless steel appliances match the stainless steel refrigerator here. It's got the big oven provided by Furion as well. Uh, look how big it is. All stainless steel. That is a lot bigger than what we typically see in RVs. Three burners, uh, all gas up here, so nice, easy to cook on the gas. And it does have this glass cover that goes over, and that's going to extend your usable countertop space when you're not using that stove top. And then around the stove here is this really cool, it's actually glass uh, backsplash. Uh, I like that. When I cook, particularly pasta sauce, when I heat it up, it just gets everywhere. And then back here, uh, have a knife rack right there. So they really think of a lot of things. Uh, the countertop on this is a, an LG style rock made countertop. Uh, and it comes with these countertop extensions over the sink here. It's a split stainless steel sink with a really cool stainless steel faucet. Plenty of drawer storage here. These are all going to be full depth drawers. So you can get to the back of the drawer because the rollers are long enough. Uh, and it's a solid wood drawer face there. Same with all the cabinet faces, they're gonna be solid wood. All right, I think that kind of sums up this area. We'll get to the bathroom here. So the bathroom is a pass-through bathroom, and in my opinion, it's the best bathroom design. They've had it forever in RVs, and I really appreciate it. So you get your shower off to the right here. This is a one piece fiberglass surround shower, meaning the surround and the tub is all one piece. There's no seam in this. So if you're kind of a clean freak like me, you, you'll appreciate not having the seam in there. And then there's a glass door for uh, to keep it off. And so you don't have that, you know, that shower curtain to have to, to mess with there. And then in here is going to be your, your sink and your toilet area. So it has a nice vanity, uh, nice uh, medicine cabinet here. Plenty of storage behind here too. That's deep. That's a foot deep, I bet. Uh, and then same with the countertop space. You got nice seamless countertop. There's no seam in this countertop. Uh, and a stainless steel bowl and matching faucet. Power hookups here uh, for hair dryers, maybe electric razors, things of that sort. And then there's a stool here. That's a really cool stool. There's the name brand on it. It's gonna be a little bit more premium than what you're gonna find in your typical camper. All right, uh, it's porcelain as well. And then also I wanna show you here, the footprint in this bathroom. So basically what I've done, I've closed the door behind us and we have the bedroom off to our right and the living room off to our left, but it's all private area, how these doors work themselves in. Let me give you a little bit better view. So bedroom's off to our left. And then that door, actually the bathroom door, clicks into the wall there to create this nice space here. So you have a really good flow into the shower. You have a spot to change uh, in the morning as well or in the evening. So big skylight. Also, check this out. So in the bathroom, we have a really cool fan. It's really going to expand bell any maybe steam from the shower or stink from the toilet and also there's a little window in here that does open uh, so you can get some nice ventilation through that all right so pocket door will lead us into the bedroom which is impressive so this bedroom has a king bed yeah i said that right king bed and not only does it have a king bed you can actually walk around this king bed i've been in motorhomes that have king beds and they just kind of shove it in a small spot but you have plenty of walk around room both sides of the bed uh, and at the foot of the bed, what you have here is opposing slide. So I have a slide off here, here, and then a slide at the head of the bed. So you get, I don't know, there's probably four, four and a half foot right here. Big windows, you have cross ventilation and the slide out on the head of the bed. Uh, so you can open those both up to get a nice breeze. We have another one of those fans back here in the bedroom. Uh, and then storage galore in this bedroom so you see the cabinets here you see the cabinets here comes with the television and look at all those drawers so 
if you're concerned about storage, this one you shouldn't be concerned about. And also in this, if you're gonna bring all the clothes, you need a way to clean them up, right? So this has a stackable washer and dryer. It's not a combo, which is, you know, if you've heard the stories about combos and RVs, they're, they're very inefficient. This is a stackable washer dryer, gonna work very well uh, for what, you're, what you need to do in cleaning up clothes. Plenty of storage. You can see the hanging rod built in from the factory there. I'll just show you a couple here. So we can talk about storage for an hour in this, but nice deep drawer, good spot for your sweaters, uh, socks, underwear, that kind of stuff. All right, that completes this walk through this Georgetown. Paul Sherry RVs have been a has been a Georgetown dealer for as long as I've been here, which is more than ten years now, and. Uh, Georgetown is Forest River's premier gas class A motorhome and one of the best produced in the nation. So if you're out there looking for a motorhome, by all means, give us an opportunity to earn, to earn your business right here at Paul Sherry's. We generally will offer you, you, you the very best price without all those gimmicks that a lot of dealers are throwing at customers all of a sudden. So just an honest price right here at Paul Sherry's. And I'll post links below of how to contact us. And just uh, you can look at our website, see current pricing and availability of this particular motorhome. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. And let's get out. Let's get out and have some fun.